Hi, I'm Ed Del Grande, and today we're talking about standby generators for your home. A lot of people ask me, what's the best kind of standby generator to purchase? Well, remember, this is going to be at least a $5,000 investment, so I tell people, get a generator that fits your lifestyle. Families that should consider standby power are families with elderly members or young children because you want to make sure the heat and the air conditioner stay on at all times. Also nowadays, a lot of people run businesses out of their homes and you have to make sure that you can keep your office equipment up and running. A lot of people travel. When you leave your home, you want to make sure your systems always stay running. And finally, standby generators are mainly for emergency situations such as storms. The generator is installed outside of the home, much like an air conditioning unit. They're generally retrofitted into existing homes, but homes under new construction or major remodeling can also be pre-wired for a standby generator, saving on final installation costs later. Standby generators run on propane or natural gas and are hooked up into a home's existing gas lines. A transfer switch, installed outside or downstairs, monitors utility power and automatically transfers the electrical load to the generator when the power is lost, usually within 10 seconds. When utility power returns, the process is reversed and the generator shuts off. A standby generator can power lights, televisions and radios, but will also power items like electric heaters or air conditioning, sub pumps, refrigerators, electrically operated wells, home security systems, home office equipment, and even cordless telephones. To determine what size generator is needed, homeowners should contact a licensed electrical contractor who's familiar with standby generators. The power professional can review your electrical wattage requirements and match the right size generator for your needs. Now, the best way to describe how standby generators work is to actually show you. This is an on-site demonstration of a standby generator to show how quickly and automatically they respond in the event of a power failure. All right, right here is the transfer switch. And you can see by the little lights on the computer here that the power is coming from outside from the utility pole. Well, I'm going to simulate a power failure by shutting off the main breaker and watch what happens. The computer will sense there's no power in the house. It'll start the generator up automatically. And once it senses that generator is up to speed, then the transfer will take place. Well, enough talk. Let's get to the action. Okay, here goes the breaker. There we go. I'll turn on the light so you can see what's happening. Now very soon, you just saw the click right over there. Hear it? The generator has started up and this model will only take 10 seconds. And there you go. Life in this home went on uninterrupted.